Welcome everyone to one more session in image processing and computer vision tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at the grab cut algorithm. Now, what is grab cut algorithm? It is an algorithm to remove the background from an image. Okay, so let us begin by importing CV2 and NumPy library. So import CV2 as CV and import import NumPy NumPy as np okay so we have these two images over here okay we we have these two libraries and now let me read the image so img will be equal to cv dot im read cv dot im read and let me just write i am i am read okay cv dot im read and i will give the the image of uh, actually i will give the the image of date uh, hand okay so img img data img data input input okay and here hand dot jpg hand dot jpg okay so we have given our image okay we have actually given our image and now first of all let us look at the image okay we have uh, we have a 300 cross 500 image okay so it it will be visible and now what we will do is we will create a mask okay so we will create let us create a mask okay that we are going to use in our grab cut algorithm but before we create the mask let us see the image cv dot i am show img 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 e image comma img img and cv cv dot destroy destroy all windows destroy all windows okay so let let me just i am getting an error no i am not getting an error okay so let me just run this code okay i will run the code over here okay i am running the code and okay i am not getting anything because i haven't given the wait key so cv dot wait key okay if you don't give the wait key the image will close immediately after opening okay so cv dot wait key and then let me just run the code okay and you can see we have image of a hand over here where we have this uh, we have this for uh, we have foreground as hand and we have a gray background okay we have a gray background so how can we remove this background how can we do it first of all we need to we need to get the coordinates of the image what we will do is we will create a rectangle okay we will create a rectangle so let me let me open this image in paint okay i will close it from here and open paint so we have this hand image over here okay let me let me just uh, uh, let me give a rectangle over here okay so i am giving a rectangle okay right over here and i will just resize it okay let me resize it okay so this is it so the region outside outside this rectangle is a sure background okay you know you are for sure it's the background so it will be okay it, uh, it it will be zero okay so what the grab cut algorithm or grab cut method will do that uh, it will give all the values of sure foreground as zero sure background as zero over here either it can be sure foreground or sure background or it can be partial foreground partial background okay so here we inside the rectangle we have a mix of foreground and background right we have a mix of foreground as well as background so over here it will do some mathematics we don't need to know that but it will create a do some mathematics and create an equivalent mask for it okay where it will differentiate the foreground as as a one okay as white values and background as 
black values okay so over here what we need to do is we need to give the coordinates of this rectangle okay the diagonally opposite coordinate so first of all we need to give this particular coordinate okay so it is 6 comma 31 pixels and over here we need to give the another coordinate that is 360 comma 525 pixels okay 360 comma or 527 pixels actually the size of this image is 527 pixels okay so over here we have 6 and 31 and over here we have 360 360 and 5 uh, 527 okay so let us go to our our spider and let us write over here okay let us create a rectangle okay where we will give x1 and y1 values so 6 comma 31 and then we will give the x2 and y2 values so 360 360 comma 527 360 comma 527 okay let us also create a mask okay so over here we have created a rectangle okay now here we are creating a, a mask okay so let us create a mask over here so mask here will be mask over here will be equal to the zeros okay it will be equal to the black background okay so let me just write let me just write np dot zeros np dot zeros np dot zeros okay np dot zeros so we need to give first of all we need to give the shape of that particular thing so it will be equal to img img dot shape img dot shape and slice it okay and slice it at 2 okay and then we need to give we, we give the shape of the image and now we need to give the data type so np dot u in unsigned integer 8 unsigned integer 8 so this is our mask okay that we can that actually we can use it okay so we have given our mask and now what we will do is we will create a background and foreground model okay so over here if there is anything okay if there is any pixel that is in the background then it will get i think it can be black okay so we will give background as uh, as zero okay we will create an array of zeros and foreground can also be black so let me just write background and foreground for that we will write type bg model and fg model okay fg model so if any pixel gets any pixel in the foreground gets distorted then it will be uh, substituted by black so we, we, we will know that which pixel is actually distorted in foreground okay so here we will type bg model bg model equal to bg model equal to np dot zeros np dot zeros zeros okay np dot zeros and over here we can give it uh, from 1 to 65 okay 1 to 65 we can give this array from 1 to 60, 65 and it will be floating type so np dot float f l o a t float okay np dot float 64 np dot float 64 and we will just multiply it by 255 okay if it was once then it would get multiplied but it as it is zero so it will be zero okay control c and control v control v and i will write fg model over here okay so we have created background and foreground models and now we will use the grab cut algorithm okay so let me just give let me use the grab cut so cv dot grab cut now what we will it will do it will give background model foreground model and image as image in return okay so first of all we need to give image as img then we need to give mask okay so mask and this is rectangle okay this is bg model okay we have given bg model and fg model and we need to give iterations how many number of iterations should be there okay so for that here we need we can give five okay and then at last we can give the mode or we can give the method actually so over here we can give method as cv dot gc in it okay gc underscore in it in it in it okay with rectangle okay we want we want this method to be operated with rectangle because we have that rectangle over here so 
we have used this okay grab cut and now what it will do it it will modify the same image that we have given okay so over here it has modified the image we have a mask created now what now we can have a mask okay we can create a second mask we can create a second mask where where we can pass the image okay where we can pass the actual mask over here mask okay this mask over here and if the value of this mask is 2 or 0 then it will give it will be 0 otherwise it will be 1 okay so let me just type np dot where np dot where and over here i will write mask equal to equal to np dot where mask equal to equal to 2 or mask equal to equal to 0 okay mask equal to equal to equal to 0 okay at that time uh, we need to give 0 otherwise we need to give 1 okay now you will wonder that why this two value over here okay so this grab cut model grab, grab cut model has four things okay one is sure background then we have sure foreground okay sure foreground then we have uh, we have partial partial background and partial foreground okay partial partial foreground okay so when we have whenever it has sure background it gives it gives zero okay it, uh, returns zero then in case of uh, foreground it returns one okay sure foreground then it returns two in case of partial one and partial foreground it returns three okay so if it is zero or if it is one then it belongs to the background so uh, please do okay please give zero over here if it's sure or partial background otherwise give one so we have this particular method where we have created another mask and we are going to apply this over the image okay so img img equal to we will get the mask from here and we will apply this mask over our actual image so img img into okay i will write img into then we will give mask to mask to okay another mask and over here i will give all the rows all the columns okay all till all these things so this and this okay and then i will just create a new x axis over here so np dot new axis new axis okay so this way we have applied our mask to an image to our image now we will show this image okay so i will just cut it and paste it over here okay let me save it and then let me run the code okay let me just run the code over here and you can see we have got an error over here okay the, the, the window is not responding so let let me just uh, copy it okay let me just copy it and then close the kernel okay I will close the kernel and I'll create a new file okay where I will paste it so I have an error over here okay I have an error assertion failed and I have in function convert to show okay okay so I have a problem in this IMG image okay I can have a problem in mask to ES over here you see that in mask we have an unsigned integer but here also we need to give this as unsigned integer okay we need to store all these values as unsigned integer so I will give as type as type as type uint uint 8 okay unsigned integer 8 okay so let me save it and then let me run the code okay i will run the code and you can see that we have this background removed okay we have the we have a pretty good result of this removed background so this was about grab cut algorithm of removing the background that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone